Welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's I, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do Aries Weekly Zodiac Energy Reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. For those of you guys that are new here, welcome. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome back. I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to call in the Holy Spirit, call in my divine ancestors who are of the, the pure white light to shield me, cover me, and protect me as I channel these messages. I also want to take this opportunity to block any evil eye, any low vibrational energy from coming through. All right. All right, Aries. So let's see. What is the energy for Aries or surrounding Aries for the next seven days? What is the energy for Aries or surrounding Aries for the next seven days? Like y'all are getting over abandonment issues, right? Michael Jackson energy. You guys are wearing your crown very well. This is self-love, bad B, that guy type of energy legend. You guys are legend, star seed energy here. Heavy, heavy um ancestral angelic protection for you guys. Tell me more for Aries for the next seven days. Tell me more. Judgment. Wow. Ooh. So someone's going through judgment. I'm, I'm going to be um, 100. I feel like you guys also went through some type of judgment as well. But I don't feel like it was because of something that you guys did as far as just, you know, bad or something like that. But it's just, it's kind of like, you know, we all go through that phase of self-reflecting. Like, just kind of looking back at your life, um, releasing some skeletons, releasing some baggage. Just, you know, really self-reflecting, really connecting to your emotions, connecting to your higher self, releasing, recharging, um, surrendering, healing trauma with abandonment issues in reverse, and just really um, taking on your full divine energy with this Michael Jackson energy being here, right? Um, there's also an energy external to you guys who I feel like was holding back from you guys. You, you had to defend yourself from this person, um, Aries. This is someone who you had a soul contract, who you also experienced a tower moment with this person, right? Fallen angel energy here. This person, it's something dealing with your protection with earth angel in reverse. So this person didn't want to believe that you were an earth angel. Yeah. Look, karmic partner. Yup. Yup. <laughs> This was a karmic partner. Yeah, this person was a karmic partner. And this person was very upset. They could not assassinate you guys with spiritual assassin in reverse. This person tried to assassinate your character after y'all split up. This person tried to blow your light out with the sun energy here in reverse. So, yeah, Aries. Oh, my goodness. This person could not destroy you. Um, they didn't believe that you guys were earth angels. They didn't believe that you had the divine protection. Um, this person was very emotionally unavailable to you guys as well. And this person tried to keep you guys in some type of an illusion. Hmm. There's some confusion surrounding this person, though. They are watching you guys from a distance. Watching you guys, Aries, receive your divine inheritance. Watching you guys be blessed. Watching the wheel turn in your favor, wheel of fortune energy. Watching you guys still receive the throne, still receive your crown, still receive the blessings that are due to you guys. It's for, um, I'm hearing it's good karma for the jo a job well done. You as earth angel energy have been here on divine mission, Aries, putting in work. Because I heard job well done. Wow, this person is such a snob. This is a greedy, greedy, selfish energy. This person intentionally held back from you guys. And it caused a tower moment, right? It caused a breakup. It caused things to fall apart because they held back from you guys. 
I'm hearing malice energy just held back with the intention of hurting you guys. They thought that this was going to blow your light out. They thought that this was going to ruin your day, ruin your life. You wasn't going to be able to move on without this person, Aries. You wasn't going to be able to clean yourself up. You wasn't going to be able to get yourself together. But I'll be my own effing hero is here. So it's just like you armored up. You guys armored up and you you fall you fall back i feel like you know you were in a space of not really having a choice you had to defend yourself against this person what what is this person's energy what do, no let's use these what was this person's problem holy spirit Wow, I didn't even know this card was in here. Wow, the Empress. See, I didn't even know this card was in here. But yeah, it's just like, this was a oh, karmic lover who was jealous of your ranking, jealous of your glow, jealous of your influence, jealous of, you know, your blessings, your ashe blessings, uh, jealous of your blessings. This person saw that you had purpose. There was a purpose over your life, you know, and it made this person's, your sun, your lights, your, your divine energy, your glow made this person restless. They could not stand this. And yes, jealous partners. This could be a friend too, y'all. It don't have to just be like romance, romance. This could be a friend. This could be somebody you work with. You know, but this person was definitely operating in a karmic's energy, you know, and I feel like you had to become very guarded with this person. Yeah, this is somebody if this was a romantic partner, though, they definitely had a choice like they had multiple lovers. Yeah, this person had multiple lovers, you guys, and this broke your heart. It caused a broken heart through a swords energy and you guys decided to hold back from this person pour into yourself it's kind of like the universe gave you guys permission to be selfish and i know that sounds weird but sometimes us especially us as earth angels we hate being selfish right we hate it but this is like the universe giving you permission to be selfish put yourself first right stop over giving because and I feel like this was the lesson that this karmic taught you how not to overgive. I see this person is stressing and losing sleep over your abundance, losing sleep over your blessings. This person is also in mental conflict with it within themselves because whatever negative energy they wish for you, whatever they wish for you is happening to them, right? Whatever illusion that they try to put you in, they're burdened by their own illusions. This person is in mental conflict because their life is burdened. They have a lot of baggage. They have a lot on their plate. Like they're just in a burden. They're burdened, you know. They're, this person is about to buckle. See, the thing about it, you should be careful who you send um, spiritual warfare to. Mm. You should be careful who you target energetically because everybody is not equipped. Oop, wait a minute. Okay. This person cannot take what they sent your way. What they did to you, once this karma came back on them, they, they can't take it. They can't take it. It's causing tower moments in their life. The same destruction that this person wished for you, Empress Energy, um, Aries. Listen, they cannot take it. All right? There's fighting around them. They're fighting with people around them. If they're dealing with another lover, they're fighting with this person. Just life is hard for them right now. It's hard. This is why this person has not been speaking to you, been keeping their selves, keeping themselves from you guys. Not wanting to show their face. Not wanting you to see that they have an empty cup. They have absolutely nothing to offer. Regretting the fact that they released you. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they, this person, you were this, you are the queen of wands, empress energy. This is a warrior. You guys may um, be witches as well. Um, you're good witches, okay? 
powerful alchemist energy. You guys are powerful manifestors, but this is just that vibrant, go-getter, sexy, warrior, goddess type of energy, you know? And this person is just like sad. They're sad because they decided to go off with a third party and to not have this union, to not have this union with, with this goddess energy here. Yeah, it, and it caused a terror moment in their own life. I figure like, I feel like this person went off with this third party and they celebrated with this third party while, you know, they left you guys in broken hearted, right? This blew up in their face, though. This person did not, they didn't feel like, they didn't think they were going to miss you like this. Yeah, look, Empress is here again. Yeah, this person, they miss you, but they're hiding it because they're embarrassed because of, they're embarrassed because they treated you so poorly. And it's kind of like a, um, a kick and a, a slap in the face for them to have to come back and apologize to you after they slammed the door, after they burned the bridge, after they told you that they're happy, they're better off without you. Just, they just did the most to you. So for them to have to come back and give you this offer, <laughs> this person is kind of like, Ooh, wait, that was just, this is just killing this person's ego. This is an ego death. Yeah. This person is going to have to bow to you, Aries, as the true, the true, the one and only Empress energy or Emperor, it play with the roles because you could be the man in the Empress energy, meaning you're taking care of yourself right now, you know? Um, just kind of kicking back, vibing. You know, you're still a, very much a man, but you are definitely in this energy of manifesting because, you know, the divine feminine energy um, manifests easily. So you guys are just manifesting a, a comfortable life for yourself right now. But this person is hiding that they want to return to you. They're hiding this, you know? Yeah. Even though it's like, and they may be like being guided to come towards you, but they're holding themselves back. They're holding themselves back from doing so. I, you know, hey, they, it's like they don't want to give you the satisfaction, Aries. They don't want to give you the satisfaction of knowing that you are the real empress. They should have held on to you. Things did not work out. The grass was not greener. And this person is probably homeless right now or struggling. I know they're struggling for sure. So, all right, Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this reading. Um, let me know what you know in the comment section down below. Peace.